Hello everyone. We're gonna do a little unboxing. I uh I've been wanting a uh I I I actually thought about buying a new boat just because I was looking for double seats, you know, cause family of four, if we go fishing, I'd like to have, you know, two people be able to fish up front, two in the back. Well, Bass Pro's got a little deal. If y'all noticed it behind me or seen the title of this video, but by i believe it's millennium or, yeah millennium marine they make a a dual seat that goes to a from a single post so i want to do a little unboxing and review of the installation of this you know it ain't it ain't the the cheapest thing but but it's cheaper than buying a new boat just for that if, if that's something you want and uh you know me me and another one can get on this in the front and if i like it a lot i could do this in the back too you just need to screw down post style uh pedestals but uh i got it in uh bass pro it it didn't take them i mean this this box came in this do d200 sidekick box shoot i had it in maybe a day or uh, two days max they had it sitting out there uh in my driveway waiting on me to pick it up so, i don't know what all we need to put this thing together yet but uh we're gonna we're gonna do a little unboxing with you if, if you'd like to see i mean it's, it's all aluminum as well that's really nice uh it'll be a little lighter weight than, than some things this type of metal oh. Uh, so there's the uh pedestal. It comes with the seat pedestals too. I was reading that because these seats don't have the pedestals with them. So I, I was glad that I didn't have to purchase that extra. And it's got a three position deal on the seat for the height that you wanted at. So I, I when I seen that, I really liked that about it. Uh, and then these are the brackets that go on the arms let's get all this down they give us a little sticker if we wanted to represent millennium marine Sorry. and if uh if 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 they want to sponsor us then i'll put your stickers wherever but if you don't want to sponsor me i'm not big on putting your sticker everywhere so just the reality of it I bought your product. I'm supporting you in that manner. Okay. So, one thing I don't see is a uh, is any installation tools yet. Let's see. I see hardware in here, but it looks like I may have to stop the video here in a sec and get some uh, hex head keys, and I'll let y'all know what size I ended up needing. Looks like there may be more than one size I'm gonna be needing, so I'll get right back with y'all. Just one sec. All right, guys. Uh, we went ahead and put these legs together after we got everything out. This design, I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at, but you had to go through and bolt these together. They're not that fun trying to hold that like in while you go through here or like even make it lock on to here and go through you know you can get if you got something sticky you can put on there i advise you get it for this uh installation or, or this assembly let's say so we got them put together the next parts they don't look like they're too too tough on you you got a uh, carriage bolt spring. Uh, hold on, wrong side. Square side. Of your carriage bolt's gonna go to your square side of the uh, bracket. Then we got a spring. We're gonna close it up. And if, well, it'll be easier said than done. We gotta let it in a little bit. All right, 
get it through. Got it locked back into the square side, flat washer. And then one of these little knobs right here. We'll get these going. And we're ready to go. Can I do this one? Sure. And if you need one of them, those, this, this. And the carriage bolt goes to the square side, yep. We're going to put the flat washer. No. And we're not going to tighten them all the way. Because they assemble up on these other poles. But, uh, Don't tighten it all the way? No, just get it started on there. Here, here's another one. You can do that one. Alright, and then we got to get these uh bolted down to the pedestals. I'm probably gonna have to grab, I, I got a little toolbox there in my boat. If y'all don't, keep a little toolbox in your boat. It ain't gotta be nothing real fancy, but uh, it's something that'll really get you out of a bind, you know? And I needed it today. We went out there uh, fishing and my cranking battery went kaput, you know? So, I ended up using my uh, using my trolling motor battery to fire it up, fire up the engine when we were uh, leaving. So, again, big time, keep you a little tool set. I got this, I want to say, at uh, Lowe's for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 bucks around the holiday. Got a little screwdriver set and a uh, few wrenches, a few sockets. I keep me a pair of uh, channel locks and pliers and keep a pocket knife handy. And them little, them little things like that will get you out of a big bind. So, all right. Let's look what we got next going on. So that was step one. The very difficult legs, which... Once you get a groove on it, it's not too bad, but they are kind of kind of aggravating. The clamps, they were very easy. The seat collar, they, they're already on it. We just got to lock it in. Uh, so, if your seat post's larger, they give you some extra uh, hardware. And... Looks like uh, these are just gonna bolt up to that middle piece. The larger side of it is gonna go to the middle part. We'll move this out the way, both of these chairs. And we'll see this screw down in there. Yep. And then this goes on here, tighten it down. Yeah. All right, it ain't gotta be all the way here. Right here, loosen it up. Let's see. I'll put this on too. So. All right, go ahead, Let's get it on. Uh, we gotta get both of them on. So loosen it up. Yeah. All right. So both for both of these to go on, I'm sure you gotta have one low, one high. The way they show on there, I'm gonna let it fall all the way to the bottom just for the video. And then, uh, yeah. yeah, put it down there. Put it on that one. Same time. Yeah. We can let it. Yeah, I get this one tight here first. No, this one. Do this one first. Go ahead and get it where you want it. All right. You should hold that one where you want it over there. So now that we got you know a little pre-assembly done, 
last thing is gonna be to get these uh get these seats on and see just how we like this I, I don't know what the perfect setting is going to be. You know, I guess it depends on who's fishing with you. Cause I might want mine up a little higher. Those kid of bell might want theirs a little lower, you know. So we'll find out how this all works and uh, give it a little test run. I, I want I want to go back fishing tomorrow. Uh, Mama Bear got us some, some uh, shiners today. And... Uh, I want to try it out again. Yeah, um, I did notice one part though that I hadn't seen. Oh, all right, I see what it is. So I didn't put it on, but this part is for boats that that I guess. What does it say? If you need a, a short pin stabilizer. So mine doesn't have a sharp pin. It took every bit of it to get it down into mine. Uh, and and it, it said on the website that it was made for a Ranger boat, but I'm not seeing, you know, any difference. As long as you got that uh, three-quarter threaded uh, base, seat base, it, it, this worked out. It worked. So I'm happy. The only thing left for us to do is get the... Uh, get the just, just, it, 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 it's snug. I, I'll, I'll look at it in a sec. But we gotta get these uh seats mounted up. Got, got some Millennium seats. Uh oh, right here. Tie together. These are gonna be comfortable. What I'm hoping. And, and I may have to pull these out a little bit because I wanna get it. I wanna get it to where me and somebody else got some room up front to get away to move away from each other a little bit but it looks like it's fairly easy to move your seats apart you know you can get them wherever you want them just keep keep it loose and then and you can like stick it in that place yep exactly right but yeah we look like we're in business we're gonna we're gonna put these seats together and uh get this get this dude a try Well, let's, let's put that down for a sec, just to stability-wise help us out. Yeah, Belle's my mechanical uh, gal. She she loves this stuff. Here, take this pack. That's for you. Look like you look like you need a washer top and bottom. Okay. So get you a washer on top. Drop her through. I didn't do it on that one. But give you eight washers. And give you no instructions. They figure you can figure this one out. But in case you can't, wash the top and bottom. And it's a lock washer. So that's good. But I, I would not suggest putting this part <laughs> up. Because if you sit down real hard, your butt might get poked. So I'm going to say bolt goes down i'll take my chances of, of getting snagged on the underside versus the top side huh that's just me personally I mean, you may feel differently you may you may want that going up uh, and trim it off i i mean that would work too if, if you if you size these bolts up and you trim them off to, to length after you tighten them You know, but they pretty excessive. Let's see. Oh. I think my bolt like jammed or something. Or there's something wrong with it. This bolt. Because it just stopped going up. There's a lock nut. Oh, so it's supposed to stay down there? Yes. You didn't tell me that. I thought there was something wrong with my bolt. Yeah.
Oh. About ain't long enough. I may have to go get a deep well socket. Set seven sixteenths that or go get me an open end boxed in. But yeah, y'all hold on just one minute. Let me go grab that. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I went and grabbed me a seven sixteenths open end boxed in. Well I can make sure I got me a good good snug uh Snug fit on here. And I know you probably don't have to, but I'm gonna go cross bolt on it. Just like we would anything mechanical. Uh, I may actually bring it. It was working good this way up till it didn't at the very end. So let's keep that momentum going. Yeah. Go ahead and get this one. So I'm going to say, uh, what, maybe a, a 30 minute assembly time. You got all your uh, tools together. Uh, I was incorrect about it not having a hex key. There was one that come with it. I checked the size on it though, cause I didn't see it at first. So I got my own out and I believe it was 3 sixteenths was the size you need. And there's one mystery right now I got a find out where it goes. There's one smaller one that I had to look and see. Uh, let's see that one. Can you see what that one is? That loose one right there. What does that say? On that? What is it supposed to say? Oh, um. <clears throat> it's 5132. No. Oh, 530 seconds. So 5.30 seconds. Bell just informed me. That's a spare for the bottom of these seats. But yeah. I'm not gonna bore y'all with all of them. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do this. This one right here. It's my last bolt on the cross bolt. Uh, and uh, I'll check back with y'all. Maybe, maybe tomorrow if we get to go on how this all worked out. The last thing I'm I'm uh, thinking on is my trolling motor because I went ahead and put it down. For putting these together where I had good opportunity, you know, good area. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to shift everything over to one side, flip my trolling motor up, because I got one that's, uh, you know, the hand tiller type, until one day whenever I get me one of the fancy GPS with the remote on it, and I can eliminate a lot of, you know, needless space up here. But, uh... For now, it is what it is. Now, I like my hand teller. It ain't it ain't bad. It still works. So I, I, it's hard for me to replace it like that. But y'all have a good one. And uh, like I say, we'll let you know how this works out.